Hello everyone, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the newly announced ports of Medieval 2 Total War uh, to mobile. And of course, as everyone knows, yesterday uh, CA announced that Medieval 2 Total War is going to be ported to mobile, to Android and iOS. Uh, it's going to be ported by Feral Interactive, the same studio that uh, ported Rome Total War to mobile and Barbarian Invasion uh, and Alexander. And then, of course, made Total War Rome Remastered. So, of course, this has gotten everyone thinking about, you know, is Feral working on Medieval 2 Total War Remastered? Now, uh, I've seen some speculation that maybe this means, you know, that uh, Medieval 2 Remastered is coming very quickly, like maybe next year. I, I doubt this. I highly doubt this. You know... Uh, Total War Rome Remastered was a pretty big project considering how much had to be overhauled and you know as as someone who has um, been modding Total War Rome Remastered I can see how much work had to go into the into the game the new files that were created uh new animations new assets uh the heavy new assets and all of that all of that takes time and of course Feral is a smallish studio and it's really hard to say, you know, how long it's going to take, right? Uh, now, Total War Rome Remastered, uh, well, according to the timeline, Feral ported Rome Total War in 2018 uh, to mobile, and then Barbarian Invasion and maybe Alexander in 2019. And then it took them three years, or three years later, uh, the... To, uh, remaster up here, Total War Rome Remastered. Now, I think uh, if we are to expect a Medieval 2 Remastered, I think it's going to take about the same amount of time because Medieval 2, uh, it is a little bit more complex in a lot of ways than the original Rome Total War. And so I think it's going to take longer in that respect as well. But of course, since they got experience, uh, when making Total War Rome Remastered and from porting uh, those games as well as Medieval 2, I think it's going to take maybe another three years. So maybe I'm guessing 2024 or 2025 is when we might see a Total War Medieval 2 Remastered. Now, d don't take that as gospel. I'm not making any predictions or anything, but I'm just saying I highly doubt we're going to see uh, Medieval 2 remaster until that time, until 2024, 2025. I don't think we're going to see it next year. I, I highly doubt that. In any case, uh, this is big news that they are porting Medieval 2 uh, to mobile. This It's not that unexpected. A lot of people were expecting this. Uh, however, uh, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it because, of course, Medieval 2, uh, despite my rather harsh review of it, my harsh uh, retrospective review of it, it's a game that I've really come to respect and like more and more uh, because, you know, a lot of my criticisms of Medieval 2 are that it's uh, it cuts out a lot of mechanics, especially campaign mechanics, when compared to Medieval 1. Uh, however... That doesn't mean it's a bad game. It doesn't mean I hate it. I mean, I I definitely have more hours in Medieval, uh, in, uh, sorry, in Rome Total War and its mods than I do with Medieval 2, uh, just because I was disappointed upon the release of Medieval 2, uh, and that made me not want to play vanilla very much. But the mod scene for Medieval 2 is so amazing that this is going to be a huge deal. Uh, if we see a Medieval 2 remaster with the modding capability of Total War Rome Remastered, this is going to be pretty, pretty major indeed for a lot of mods. Now, um, just a quick rundown. You know, my biggest issue with Medieval 2, aside from the mechanics, uh, that it, it cut out a lot of mechanics from Medieval 1, are the portraits. Like, I really hate these portraits. They feel... These are like step one towards the final step, which was Empire Total War's sort of goofy CGI portraits. These portraits are goofy. They are cartoony. I don't like them at all. Um, yeah, these guys... I, I don't like them at all. Like, first thing I'm going to do... Uh, 
what I want to do is uh, if Total War Medieval 2 Remastered is announced, I'm going to immediately uh, say that I'm going to port Chivalry 2 The Sicilian Vespers mod to Medieval 2, and hopefully with lifted limits, like lifted faction limits, lifted unit limits, that's going to make that mod be a lot more stable, a lot more easy to run, since we will no longer need the complex launcher that uh, Chivalry 2, the Sicilian Vespers, has, because, of course, it changes the faction depending on whatever era you're looking at, right? So you have the early era, 1080, and then all the way to Renaissance era and Dark Age era, 888, AD start date. And, of course, the factions change depending on which campaign you choose in the launcher. Now, of course, with a remaster with lifted limits, you won't need uh, to have such a complex launcher. And, of course, that launcher leads to uh, corrupted files and things of that nature. So definitely, definitely, I will definitely do that. Port Chivalry 2. Chivalry 2 is one of my favorite mods of all time. It's the mod that got me into playing Medieval 2 uh, after I was disappointed in the vanilla game. So another thing is that, you know, Medieval 2... The graphical style of the original Medieval 2, I, I don't like the campaign map graphical style. Like, I, I actually preferred the original Rome style, and I like Rome Remastered's campaign map. Now, looking back at these graphics, these campaign map graphics, they're not bad. And I have a feeling in a remaster they're going to look really nice. Especially, you know, seeing how the original Rome's graphics were, are so improved by the remaster. I'm actually pretty excited to see how much nicer they're going to look in a remaster. Uh, but, of course, the battle maps. Medieval 2's battle maps look really nice. They still look really nice today. I don't feel they look dated uh, at all, really, uh, especially with certain mods like Broken Crescent and uh, Europa Barbarorum's uh, battle map environments. But I have a feeling that remastered Medieval 2 is going to look super nice it's going to i think it's going to blow us out of the water um there are other things i dislike about medieval too like especially this whole region system so you have vienna region budapest region zagreb region instead of having you know actual province names like adana region antioch region aleppo region i just hate that it is just terrible. Um, and definitely, you know, I might even release some small mods uh, upon the release of Medieval 2 Remastered that uh, just fixes up those issues. You know, I'll, I'll release a mod that replaces all these portraits with Medieval 1 portraits because those are just better. And these regions, oh, I will go through all of them because I just really don't like it. But in any case, I think that's pretty much everything I have to say about um, the ports for Medieval 2 to mobile. Now, ag again, for Medieval 2 Remastered, if we see Medieval 2 Remastered and we get all the modding capabilities that they brought to Total War Rome Remastered, such as uh, unlimited religions, cultures, um, units, models, buildings, uh, battle map limits restricted um lifted uh region limits lifted faction limits lifted i think the possibilities are endless for medieval 2 uh, more so than uh rome rome remastered's possibilities because you know medieval 2 has additional mechanics like the papal mechanic of course and crusade mechanics i think all of this is going to lead to something really nice indeed all right, so if you are interested in the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider subscribing to the channel, consider liking this video, and I will see you in the next one later.